After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. One thing I noticed that we have an increase of homeless come in when the weather changes. So when it gets too hot or gets too cold, they the homeless try to get arrested so they can come in, get a shower, have a dry place to sleep, and get fed. And I've seen everything come in. I've seen everybody. But what's cool is that I'll still see something different, something new. Come here. Come over here, ma'am. Face the wall, spread your feet. What are you in here for? There's domestic violence on a six foot seven mother. Whoa. Who's yeah. that? Who's that guy to you? My boyfriend. Oh. So what'd you do to him to get in here? I bit him. You bit, I bit him? him on his arm. Good That's all you. I did. Good for you. Spread your feet, ma'am. I called Metro to have him come and make him leave my house. And you can and they arrested me. Is he still at your house? Yes, he is still at my house. That is messed up. Yes, it is messed up. Okay, let's take these cuffs off of you, okay? okay. So why don't you put your hands high up on the wall? Okay, works for me. Okay, works for me too. So uh, when this is all said and done, you're out of here, are you going to go back to your man or is he done? No, he's getting the out of my house. I pay the bills. That's right. Has he got a girlfriend? He's got a wife. <laughs> okay, now whose fault is this? Yeah, now it's the plot mine. thickens even more. I, that's what screwed Look at that. that. When I go home, he's gonna get out of my house. I think that's a good game plan, ma'am. Okay, listen, go see medical. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? What do you mean medical? You gotta go see medical. Make sure you're not hurt. This roll all the way down the very end. <laughs> so what was the scenario when you went there? A uh, six foot seven guy with a bite mark on his arm, scratches on his chest, trying to stop her from driving drunk. Um, She'd been drinking. He poured her alcohol down the sink, so she got mad and attacked him. She called us because she wanted us to tell him to get out and give her the keys to her safe so she could get her money and go drink, and uh, he wouldn't let her out of the house. So. Totally different from what she told me. Yeah, so different when we got story. there, she was. that's why she's upset, because she called the police and she came to jail. What'd you get arrested for tonight? Nothing. Nothing? Not this. Yeah, it had to be something. What do you mean, not this? What are you grabbing for? I'm not doing nothing. Corey was brought in for DUI. We're trying to process him, but he's not being very cooperative right now, and he's smart-mouthing the officers. Stand up straight. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Damn, man. Your belly out of the way. Can we try to just get with the program and act like grown-ups, or you want to continue with this whole... I, really think I know, you've already told me that. Like nothing like that. Yeah. Girls nothing in your pants. Awesome. Look straight ahead at that wall. Just embrace it, sir. <laughs> I don't have nothing. All right, step out of the jeans. I am. Can you stop crossing? Damn, man, don't don't shut your left foot Stop crossing, buddy. Damn, man, can you let me go for a minute? We can't let you go, sir. You're in jail. I know, but you're breaking my wrist. No, we're not. Simple restraint techniques. He's not even touching your wrist, though. See, you keep moving around. I'm not moving. You're moving me. Settle down. What about this from the handcuffs? That's from your hand. Why are you cussing at me? Sorry, that's already. Hands, this is a family jail. Don't away. cuss. Like, dang, All right, put your little flip flops on. Shh. Put your flip flops on. I told you this is a family jail. You can't keep cussing like that. Turn around. This row right here. Go down to the end and have a seat. Pull your pants up. Hey, I'll do it. All righty. Okay, first of all, don't even bother sitting down. Let me pull them up. Get up. Come on. Okay. Come on. We're going to help Ow. you with that. Remember, you wanted us to help okay, you? Okay, I'll do it. Shh. No, too late. I'll do it. Too late. Ow! We don't give people I... plenty of chances. We give you I'll one chance. Pull them up. No, My hands are restrained. So now he has to be assisted by these officers. Most likely he'll end up in a side cell because he can't handle himself out here. You can act like an adult. You can stay out here. Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's take it down. Come on. And they are going to take him to a side cell. I think we got one. I think we do. It's always room for jello. Step out of your shoes. It's just another typical night. 
Ow! Put your stomach up on a wall. Cross your ankles. Now, when we release your hands, you're going to place them on the back of your head. Yes, sir. You're not going to move until the door shuts. Door? You're not going to move until the door shuts. Yes, sir. All right? We'll let him sober up for a few hours before we let him finish the booking process. Sorry, you had to come down here, but that's the law. you got to stop beating up on that little guy. I don't guy. care. Little guy? Yeah. Little? Well, you're, you're here Six because of the seven injuries. seven ain't little. I know, but you're here because of the injuries on him, not because the injuries on you. Can I sit down? Go back and sit where you were, okay? Oh, oh watch out. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good night. I just wanted my keys. He's six foot seven. I'm four foot ten. Wow, that's a big so height So I told difference. him, you know what? I'm calling Metro. <laughs> arrested me. Yes, I bit him. Yes, I hit him. Yes, I bruised him. But you know what? He hurt me too. You bit him though, you said? I sure did. And because you know what? When he's going to hold you? me to the floor and think he owns me, he's got another thing coming. He don't own nothing. He can go out and get a job and own what he wants. Because you know what? Colleen's done. Colleen's tired of taking care of men. God put you through trials and tribulations in your life to make sure you can handle it. Come on in, let's get your picture taken. Some people can't handle their alcohol. They drink too much, they misbehave, and of course, law enforcement officers are always the bad guys. No matter how busy it is or how tense things get in here, we realize that we depend on each other and we're not by ourselves, you know. We have um, our partners that are gonna help us get through the night and we rely on each other and we're gonna end up going home and this is our place of comfort right here now. This is not fair. It's not fair. How long can you hold me? It depends what you're in here for. You'll find out in the next room, your charges. He took, called me in here for a phone call. I made to try and get my CDs back because they destroyed my CDs over at the Bellagio. So you were at the Bellagio, you're staying at the Bellagio? I, look, I was taught, this, there's a guy that doesn't like me that goes there. He told the sports book guy that I was a no good son of a, they threw me out of there. They berated me, called me an old man and everything else. When I went back there, the minute I got back, it threw me out again. So now I'm mad. Were you drinking? What? Were you drinking? What? Were you drinking? Hell no. Want to give me a sobriety test? Not really. Let me blow but... that thing up. So you got kicked out because what? You were just being, you got uh, in an argument with them? They accused me of telling a, a cocktail waitress that I wanted to, yeah. they, they made up stories to get me out of there. I'll find out exactly what your charges are in a bit, okay? Thank you, darling. So meanwhile, you got to see the nurse, so go down this, this go down this row. Listen, lowest. go down this row and go talk to the nurse and let her know any medical problems you have. Well, I am bipolar. Go all the way down and tell the nurse that. I have a group called the Bipolar Bears. We play mood swing music. Got it. That guy who arrested me is the scummiest son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. He's a no good, he has no respect for a man my age. Mr. came in, you said he was the most awesome officer you've ever I met. I did not say that. You did say don't that. put words in my mouth, Baldy. What did you say? Hey, Baldy, don't put words in my mouth. What did you say? I said he was a piece of crap. Let's go this way. How can you not respect an 80 year old man? I don't earn respect, sir. Hey, don't stop with me, Baldy. I don't like you when your body, you're about to throw yourself away from the dinner table once in a while. What, are you guys going to interrogate me because I don't like you? I'm, not, I'm a nice guy, actually. Three? I don't think so. Four. Well, you don't think so, but a lot of people just, do. You don't know when to shut up. 80 years old, you should, you should, you yeah, should have right. learned discretion yeah, a long time. You guys like to... Slip out of your sandals, sir. That's how you slip, your, slip out of your sandals. I'm glad to stay here. Just a little while. Until we say so. There you go. Bald feet, I'm going to be yeah, yeah. easy a little bit, Pally. Come on, I'm 80 years old. 80 years old. Spread, spread, feet. You spread you your feet. An excuse to be stupid. Stup spread spread your up. feet. Hey, easy, man. You're real lovely to talk to an 80 year old like that. See, in a situation like this, like this, this, is where this, this, my whole life. this is where discretion comes in. You're in here with two guys. If you don't learn to shut your mouth, the time for being a comedian is over with. How old you are, guy? Yeah, there you go. Nice guy. Well, we'll see how he gets along with his uh, his buckies. So what happened with this guy? Uh, he's threatening 
Somebody at the Bellagio Hotel Casino. And you said he's been trespassed there several times? Oh, he's been trespassed. He's, he's just, just been totally trespassed disruptive once. every time he goes in there? Was trespassed and uh, was too happy for the past month, so it's been harassing him. And he's quite, he plays, tries to be quite the comedian. Unfortunately, he just hasn't learned a discretion. He doesn't know when to shut up. Officer Castro? Yeah. What happened with Danny while you were doing your checks? I came by and uh, he was yelling in there. You wouldn't let him sleep? I had to move him out. He's laying down. We're going to see if he's awake. See what's up. Danny. How you doing, Danny? Not too good, lady. N not too good? That Bellagio's going to get their ass suit off. Because... Who did what to you at the Bellagio? What happened was there's a guy that goes in there. You want to sit? Can you sit I up? From 15 you need help? years ago, and he doesn't like me. He says, I'm going to get you thrown out of here. Okay. So this guy's not a nice guy either. When the guy hit me, he didn't give me So what happened at the Bellagio, Dan? So they, they threw me out and embarrassed me on the way out. Were you being verbal with them? Is that why? No, no. They, they were being verbal with me. Do you realize why we had to bring you out from the pre-arrest area and then put you in a cell? And then you had problems in there with the guys in there? Oh, and now that's, that's why you're alone shit. here? I didn't have no problems with anybody. Don't put words in my mouth, lady. So what happened in there then? The guy said to shut my mouth, and I said, wait a minute, you got to talk to me that way. And he robbed me. Obviously, your mouth has gotten you a lot of trouble. Well, a... That's why we had to bring you out of the open area. Oh, where... Listen, minute, listen to me. me. That listen. guy started with me right away. Exactly, I'd because like you, you, you don't Let know how to be quiet, Danny. Give me a, give me a shot with that man. Exactly. That's why we had to bring you in that cell with yeah, the other guys that me. couldn't behave. Get me and knock me down. And Lady, then you couldn't no, even make it in there. That. You're making excuses for, for, for bad If you continue this way, Danny, you your process slows down. That's what I'm letting you know. Your mouth is getting you in a lot of trouble. My mouth is That's why you are right here now. I make a lot of money with my mouth. And I don't want to take any crap from you either. Okay, Danny. So when, with all the money that you have, then after your process keeps continuing, then you'll be able to bail out, okay? No, I don't have the money to bail out right now. I thought you made a lot of money, Danny. Well, it's... I... I'll tell you what, Danny. You're going to stay here for a while because your no, mouth got you in trouble not... out on the street. Your mouth no, got you in trouble in our open booking area. Your mouth got you in trouble with these other inmates. Stay in there, Danny. Yeah, yeah that's it, lady. Keep me in jail. An 80 year old man, aren't you a lovely human being? All right. This is my He's going to do that all night. Yeah, well, hopefully he'll get tired and just sleep it off. Night shift and booking uh, can be very challenging. We average over 120 arrests uh, per shift. When these individuals come in, a lot of times they come in intoxicated, uh, high, suicidal, uh, combative, and it creates a lot of challenges for us as officers and supervisors to house these individuals in a safe and secure environment. Code 5 inmate coming in, which means the individual suspect's probably been uh, combative with the arresting officer. He needs our assistance in uh, getting him out of the car and walking him into the facility. I'll sit there and try and talk to him, get him to cooperate. And if they don't, we'll use the restraint chair here and uh, put him in that and give him a little bit of cooling off here. Are you coming in, sir? We are, sir. Sit down. Make a pause. Make this process sir. I'm going to talk to you. Oh, God, dude. What <laughs> did I do to start getting put in the chair, dog? Well, you're still there yelling and you don't want to cooperate. That's what, what? you did. So yeah. now you need to follow directions, just relax. Just take this spit mask off me, dude, and I'll cooperate, man. It's all I ask, man. Well, Why didn't you one. take this mask off because me, dude? Because you're screaming and you're yelling, and I don't trust you. What's your name? We gotta get your blood pressure. Dude, you ain't putting that on my arm. What's your name? My name's John Doe. Do you want to hurt yourself? There go my face. It's not my job to do that. Uh, we'll park him in the corner here. We got two that should be cleared up sometime, and then I got uh, three more that are trying to get out of my face. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not, no, dude. Go down. George, one great fortune. So if you start cooperating, we'll get you out of this chair. You just needed a little time out. Well, when I was I not cooperating? From the get go, when you, Sergeant. When you take your head and you try to hit my officer with it, and when you try to headbutt us, try to kick us with your leg. When you're using obscenities, that's when you weren't cooperating. So
So you need to sober up and relax. When I said, please get this spit mask off me. We have another code five inmate coming in. Inmates have been combated with arresting officers. We stopped him for trespassing uh, in an apartment complex. And he had some felony warrants. Just didn't want to cooperate, so. Yeah, he looks, he's been a frequent customer, I think. He's, so. been, he's been drinking heavily, so. Yeah. Okay. They tend, tend to get a little crazy. Yes, they do. Now, did you take this bear from the hospital? Is that his teddy bear? Well, put that yeah. with your property, sir. Yeah, take that with you to bed, sir. That's yeah, nice. I'm going to go ahead and keep the chair out just in case, because, again, emotional roller coaster. Yeah, I got you. Cat here. Touch your mouth. Hey, hey, hey. Let's put him in a chair. Put him in a chair. Put him in a chair. Yeah, he's too stupid. He started it. Now he's doing it. All right, relax. He started it. I know, it's over. It's over. It's over. Let's take one here. Uh, he's probably still a little intoxicated, so we'll put him in the restraint chair for a cooling off period for his protection and other inmates. Kevin, we got uh, several inmates in the restraint chair. Two C's full. They're suicidal inmates, so we can't put them in side cells. So we're going to have to use some uh, alternative uh, solutions. What about having psych talk to them? We can do that. I'll have uh, psych follow up with them. Did 18 years in ISO. And? I'm kind of so angry. Cause, dude, I've this never dude's seen anger. I don't know. I don't. And I just want to get this damn yeah. bee mask off my face, man. That's all you pissed sure. off about. You're upset yeah. about the mask being on you. Yeah. You spit on me. You spit on you. Yeah, I spit on you with a spit mask on my face, right? Oh, you guys aren't getting along either. <laughs> I don't like that. That's article, man. Sounds good. This is comical. Can I ask you some questions? Sorry. Why are you spitting on me? I didn't spit on anybody. I'm gonna keep cussing, but I ain't gonna spit on nobody. I ain't stupid. That's assault. Do you want to hurt somebody? No. I want to get out of these damn cuffs and get put like in a cell or maybe like in some restraints like he is. Do you want to hurt yourself? Uh, no. I don't even know why I got put in this damn chair. He's not suicidal then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give you a chance. Okay, take the mask off and everything, Aaron. You gotta cooperate with us. Sir, I'm not gonna cause no problems. I'll give you one chance. Nope. If you act up again, I got another option. I'll put you right back in a chair. Understood? Right. Thank you. What's up, Bill? Hey, Sarge, that uh, 405 that came out of the chair. Yeah. He's punching the pillar. Getting real agitated. All right, we'll take care of him. Unfortunately, I got no room for him, so we're gonna have to leave him out here. You can't be punching that pillar. Hey, Paul, I'm supposed to left about before eight of these people, three of those girls, and five of those guys left out of here, and you guys didn't let me go out at all. The reason being is you told somebody that you were suicidal. No, I didn't tell suicidal. If I wasn't suicidal, I'd be busting my head on the concrete right here, man. What are you punching the pillar for? Psych interviews you. Right now, they, feel, they said you're suicidal. So, that's the reason you're staying out here. I don't have a room upstairs to put you in. Man, on me, man. Just chill. I don't play no games like that. I'm not playing no games with you either. Sergeant, Sergeant I didn't lie to me. And I just explained it to you. Why? I just explained it to you. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey. Sit down. Can we get the chair again? No. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Strickle all you want. Have fun. But you're staying right there. And that's the bottom line. You want to make a big scene? Go ahead and make a big scene. Hey, we've had a really busy night so far. And, uh, the other code fight is in the side cell. We'll go ahead and talk to him right now. What brought you to Vegas? Uh, you know, my friend told me it was better here, you know, like if you can't get a hustle on here, then you ain't nothing. So you got picked up tonight on a warrant though, right? Yeah, but I just went to court yesterday on malicious destruction of private property under $200. I shouldn't be on warrant for it because I just went to court yesterday. Well, maybe, maybe it just wasn't put in a system, you know? That's why I was so mad when I came in. You know, when they threw a bee mask on me, and I understand completely because nobody wants to get spit on them. Right. And I'm not going to spit on anybody because I know the charge for that, so. All right, man. So you're going to chill out in there? Yeah, bro. Yeah, sleep it off, man. Okay. All right, man. I got to close this. 
You know, on nights like these, when we get aggressive and uh, angry people in here, it always presents a challenge to us. So uh, the people would just come in here when they get arrested and just basically take responsibility for their actions and act a little more mature, they would end up going into little side cells like this. County Detention Center for six years. I worked up in the towers when I first started working here and it was a good job however it was a little slow. I transferred down to booking and I haven't looked back. Right now we have a call for a code 5 male that's coming in. That just means that an inmate is coming in either physically resisting or combative. He came in on a DV, but he was able to be talked down and he chose to walk in, which is definitely a better way that saves us from the extra work. Hopefully he can remain calm. If he doesn't, then he'll end up in the side cell. Basically, he got arrested for uh, battery domestic violence, assault with deadly weapon, uh, intimidating a PO, and uh, malicious destruction of county property. He decided to kick out our rear window of our patrol car. So that's why he's here. That's why he's down here. Thank you so much. It's, it's too tight, man. Come on. He's very up and down, and that's actually really common for code fives that come in, and they choose to walk in, but then any little thing can escalate the situation, and their mood can change. <laughs> See, I just, I really don't think he's going to make it. He will end up in a side cell because we can't have this kind of attitude out here in pre rest where the other inmates can see. I respect you, you respect me. Once inside the side, so we're going to do another pat search on him to make sure we didn't miss anything from the first time. He's going to stay in here until he can sober up and cool down, and he's getting very upset. However, we need him to hold still until we can leave safely. And now that he's uh, secured in the side, so I'm sure he'll talk and yell a little bit. If he continues with the head slamming, he'll have to be removed and taken up to isolation. But we'll, that's definitely what we're going to do here. And the officer's job is to monitor him while he's in the side cell. Hey, Sergeant Gettler, he's banging his head pretty bad. Chill out. I respect me. I respect you. Huh. Too much liquor, too much drugs. Man, that, that, that's hey. nothing but respect. Give me her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not respect. Oh, sir almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm okay, though. You talk about respect, and then you talk like that to one of the female officers. That ain't respect. How would you like it if it was your daughter, huh? What would you do if some guy got your daughter's face and licked his tongue like he's some animal? You don't talk to my officer like that. Understood? Understood. He's all talk. You're forgiven. <laughs> Tomorrow he'll be a totally different guy. Stand right here on the mat. Use the wall for me. Get your feet up. Oh, yeah. So you know that, well, he's transsexual. Oh, OK. So, so where is? That's for you. Where were you at tonight? I was at the commercial center. Right now. Oh, walking? Oh. No, standing, actually. Oh, yeah. Was there a party? You went to a club or something? Yeah. Yeah? Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Let's go this way. You said you were at a, a club tonight? Mm -hmm. So how come you're here, though? What happened? Somebody picked me up and then trapped me. They wanted to pay you for sexual favors? Yeah, I told him I would pay to clean, to wash the dishes, to oh, clean his house. Oh, that's just being silly. We both know what that's about. Well, they're going to pay one way or another. Either they're going to pay up front, they're going to pay, you know, by dinner and gift and flowers mm -hmm. to get it. But 
they're always going to end up paying at the end. So. Okay. All right, he's going to change you out, okay? Best route. Okay. The male officer is going to go in with him and just verify whether he's a male or female, and that way it helps us to segregate him. And again, that's just for his safety. Can I ask you personal questions? Do you of mind? Of course. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been transgender? Yeah. Well, I've been transgender all my life, but how long have I been living as That's a woman? That's what I'm asking you, absolutely. About eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay. Has it been harder for you, or of you just... Of course it's hard, you know. People discriminate against, you know. Just because they don't understand it and it's different, you know, they have to... They don't understand it, so they get scared, so they, you know... Yeah. They don't like it. Do you find uh, people more accepting here in Vegas or back in California? No, in Vegas, people just come here to... Uh, Terrorize the town for the weekend, break everything, they don't trash care, everything, right? and they go back home. Like you know, oh, I'm a good person, you know. Have a seat, relax. The tattoo on your right arm, what's that about? That's a green beret. Why? What, are, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to me? Yeah, what's the meaning behind it? Because I was in the green beret. Really? Yeah. How long ago? Twenty-five. Oh my God, how old am I now? Twenty-eight years ago. How long were you in there for? Five years. Right. You see, what a turn up. <laughs> well, you got a sense of humor about it. Well, when you look like me, you have to. I guess. Otherwise, you have a tough life. You're right. It's a better attitude to have. Let's go into the next room. I'm gonna have you have a seat in the back row on the left hand side. Mel's over there in the back row. You can have it on the very last chair. If you need something, you raise your hand, like water, restrooms, phones. Good luck to you, Kelly. Yeah, it's just, he's got a great sense of humor about the whole thing, though, but he's right. I mean, he's got a tough life, so you might as well laugh about it. But he'll go through this process, get out of here, and hopefully a better life for him. When the inmate comes in, we like to size them up, we'll ask them questions, we'll give them basic commands, and that'll let us know if they're a yes or a no inmate, because we need to be able to keep order in here once they come into our facility. You know, if somebody starts getting out of hand and we don't do something about it, well, then it starts a chain reaction with everybody else. Oh, yeah. Here, sit there. No, let me sit there. No, you don't get a choice. The girls sit oh, back here. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Just sit down. Why Don't are you be nasty. I'm not me. being nasty yes, to you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm nasty yes, to you because you, you have to sit in the back and you can't sit in the front. You're, nice. you're being extremely rude, though. So apparently she ran into a curb. They head her on camera and she cleverly gets out of the driver's seat, goes around to the passenger seat thinking that would keep her from getting a DUI. Unfortunately, no, she failed our sobriety test in the uh, open container of... Manhattan was in there. So. so this is her second one this year. Second one this year. And then one back in 94. Yes. <laughs> so how fast were you driving when you hit the curb? I didn't really know I hit the curb. Oh, you didn't? No. And what is this we're doing? Pardon me? It's called a blood draw. For what this reason? This is what I read you in the car. Okay. Yeah, you read you your rights, and now you're getting blood draw because you, you were drinking and driving. Consent? Uh, no, I wasn't drinking and driving. Okay. The rim is broken. The tire is flattened, and the rim is broken. You hit mm, pretty hard. No. Yeah, actually, it is. You had to hit something pretty hard to do that. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Santa for me, ma'am. Turn your body to the right, face that direction. It's like I'm taking off my underwear. Do you ask the men to take off their underwear? Well, if they're wearing well, stockings, yes. No, do you ask them to take off their underwear? Yeah. In no, jail, you have to take your stockings well. off. But they cost $5, isn't it? So I'm not going to just leave them back there. Gonna get them back. Let's come on over here and have a seat. I have never done this before. Bobby, no. Just here yeah, you were just here in March. I don't this care. is the same thing. I didn't show you my belly button you before. Go. What the it's hell? Nice. You're disgusting. You know that? You are, you're a disgusting woman. Well, Thank Bobby, you. I, I heard understand you're okay. angry, but you don't got to take your anger out on the officers that are here. 
I do when they are being mean to me. And she is being mean to me. No, she's not. She's being mean to me. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Now we're going to go ahead and isolate to in a side cell, away from everybody else, because the officers Rates. really don't need your uh, disrespectful Rates. comments. Yeah. Listen, can I ask you all something? Nope. That time's over. Can I ask you all something? Go ahead and lay her down on the bunk there. There you go. Oh, ow! Ow! ow. Relax. You stay right there. Don't move until the door shuts. I hope you're all proud. Just trying to finish it up. As soon as we started talking about uh, taking off the pantyhose, that's when she really lost it and refused to cooperate. Is it your first time getting a DUI? Six years ago, Six years ago in California? Put your hands on top of your head. So you, uh, you were running away from your husband and to get, to get away from him because you said, was he, did you say he was hitting you? He hit you? I've been here two times. Has he ever gone to jail for that? Yeah. All the way down to the end, sit in the first seat. She tells us she's been drinking all night. She uh, says that her and her husband had an argument. This is the third time she's been to jail, and uh, she's been arrested for domestic violence several times. Husband's been twice, so it's. Then she had her kids in the car, and they weren't in their seatbelts. No, none of them had seatbelts on. There's oh four, four kids in the car. It's a good thing you guys went, showed up when you did. So Ruby, do you think you're going to be going back to your I just want husband? My children back. Yeah. Have a seat right here. Ruby. I know you were talking to me about how you had a history about. Can you have your time? Yeah, but you guys never bring him to jail. Almost every time you guys never take him and he talks such a and I know I drink, I do, but I wasn't drinking and, and taking off and driving like, you know what, I know it's wrong still, I'm not excusing that, Sure, I understand but that. what he does is so much worse. This is a copy of your charges, that's for you. You know when you get in the next room, sit with the girls on the right and don't talk to the fellows on the left, listen up for your name and don't get up without asking, all right? Go straight ahead, first row. On the right. And we'll see. I mean, she's got some pretty good charges, but she might be able to qualify for an OR. I don't know. I think she probably will, but she's actually lucky with her kids in the car. They could have charged her with more. They could have charged her with child, child endangerment. They didn't do that, so um, she kind of got lucky. Are you feeling a little bit better now that you slept it off a little bit? No? I feel fine. Feel fine? Well, that's good. So we just want to get you through this. As long as you don't, you know, I know you were agitated earlier, and hopefully you're not agitated now, and get you processed, and we can get you out of here, okay? You think you can do that? Great. Sarge, I think she'll be fine. She's also yeah. playing a little bit of the aisle. That's all right. Whatever works. All right, come on over here. You're going to sit with the girls on the right-hand side. Don't talk to the fellas. Okay. We'll uh, give her a chance and just monitor her behavior out here. Yeah, I think she'll be okay now. She's sober up, reality is setting in, you know, thinking about everything. I think she'll be fine and be able to continue the process and go home. Correction sergeants tasked with supervising approximately 20 to 25 corrections officers. Our job is a difficult one. We do see people at their worst, an emotional, uncontrolled state often, and uh, incidents of violence are common. And that's probably one of the most difficult uh, parts uh, or functions of a corrections officer. Right over here, ma'am. Stand right there. Move him over. Please that way. 79 needles raised, please. Uh, sure no. no, no, not at all. Okay. Have you ever been here before? I have. Yeah. Like warrants. Clean packets, everything. I'm clean. I'm pretty much a square. Pretty much a what? Square. Nice work. Dental hygienist, and um, pretty much this. Hygienist during the day, stripper during the night. So what's going on with her? She ran the back of a lady in an accident. She worked in the Tavos Club. I was out drinking all night. And crashed over on Twain and Arville. Wow. And then she's trying to be flattering and flirting to get out of a DUI, which is over the limit. When we arrested her, we found a small bag of marijuana that she had. Uh, she's alcohol and she's been smoking dope all night driving a car. So 
You draw a blood, do a breath, and charge of a DUI and uh, possession of uh, narcotics. That it? Work. That's it. Work. You got in an accident? I barely, I didn't stop on time. I guess I was going fast. But I barely hit him. It was like five miles an hour. And whatever. I'll take this responsibility for it. I'm not tripping. I don't like to argue with people. So, you know what? I'll pay for it. She breath of blood. Breath first and blood. Come on, let's go talk to the nurse. Let's go see the nurse real quick. Don't bang your head. Break my Do finger. Do not bang your Break head, sir. Break my finger. Your own cops tell you you're corrupt. Do not bang your head. Let's have a seat, sir, right now. All right, right on. What are you here for? For nothing. I don't no, even know. No, it's it nothing. We for my girlfriend it. beating me up. Oh, yeah, you'll be here for a little while then. Yeah. yeah. She has no scratches on her, and everybody else told her not that much. she beat me up. I want her phone call real quick. Are you from Chicago. Vegas? Chicago. Okay. Here's the deal in Vegas. Never gotten a problem oh, in my no. life. Ever. Here's, here's the deal. Let me explain how. No, no, I need to explain how you're doing You guys are corrupt, and that's no. fine. My dad told me. My dad's a lawyer in Chicago. He knows what you guys are. There, he's basically beating up on, I think, it's his wife. And uh, he got arrested for DV. He was all calm, acting like he needed medical beforehand. Since we got jail, he started acting all crazy. So he was kind of asleep in your car? Yeah. Woke him up to get him in here. And then as soon as I got to the door, he started going nuts. Maybe he realized that he's going to jail. I don't know. Wow, and he beat up his wife. Mm hmm. Wow. Don't break my hand! Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Calm down, man. Calm down. Calm down. What makes you better than me? I work for a living. I pay my taxes. Because some lady says that I haven't told her to leave my apartment. Calm down. It's my apartment. I did nothing wrong. I just got home from work. I got punched in the face twice, and now I'm in jail. You haven't had nothing to drink since you got off work at 108 degrees. Come on. Let it break it, break it. Punch me in the face. What is this, like Rodney King just reversed? Double locking right there. I wanted to call my dad, who's a lawyer. I'm not saying nothing. Double lock. Change. Then you hold me in jail forever. Because I'll never say nothing if I get my dad here. I hope you guys can meet your maker. What's going on? I didn't have no problems with my wife. She woke me up by slapping me twice. That was it. Where do you guys get these problems from? I'm just trying to find out. Ask the neighbors. Ask anybody. I didn't talk. Look at my hands, dude. Come on. I got no scratches. I got no hands. All I got is where she slapped me. And you guys arrest me? You want you to understand my point of view? I've done nothing. I've never had a felony in my life. I've done nothing, dude. Not, I've done nothing. Not I'm not even kidding. I've done absolutely nothing, dude. Nothing. I'm concerned right now about your behavior. And right now you're... I'm frustrated. I, I totally understand that. So that's why you're I'll sleep there. somewhere else. Okay. I'll go. I'll run the motel room. Just try to relax. <laughs> For your money, these two for your property. Okay, um, purse, high heel shoes. I have high heel shoes on? Yes. No, I have. Either on or in your property. You had them in your purse, I think. Oh, you had okay. Those my, boots. My, my, my stripper clothes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you had those boots. Okay. Okay. Here's your copy of your charges. Okay. okay. Remember the rules for sitting out here in open booking? Okay. I can use the phone, though, correct? Yes. So did you learn your lesson, you think? About what? Drinking and driving. That's why you're here. You don't I'm remember? not really a drinker. To be honest with you. Drugs. Drink, drink Marijuana, and drugs. yeah. But to be honest, I'm not that kind of like, I don't do it on a daily basis, you know, one or two shots. I guess I shouldn't have been driving off of a shop, but and they stopped suddenly. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. You... I, I suppose I learned my lesson, you know? No doubt about that at all. All right, live and learn. Come out this way. Our fender here in the restraint chair, approximately an hour and 15 minutes. How are you feeling? Doing good. You're doing good? Yeah. Okay, let, let me explain what we're going to do here, okay? We're going to take you out of the chair. The officer's going to give you specific commands, all those commands, okay? Then we're going to start you in the process, and then you just get you through as quick as possible. Okay? Any questions about that? 
Can you have your socks? Yeah. I think we can find your I socks. Get, like, I, I don't know. I just don't like that. Yeah, yeah. We, we have samples. Um, yeah, we got the whole gang over there. All right. Stand up. This man came to us uh, charged with domestic violence uh, and another example of uh, how we see citizens in uh, their worst condition. And uh, hopefully by the time he leaves here, uh, he will have uh, straightened up and got his life on track. I've worked at the Clark County Detention Center for approximately seven and a half years. The majority of the time I spent upstairs working in the modules, I decided to come downstairs and work in booking for a faster pace, and it is definitely a faster pace area. People just getting arrested can be drunk, angry, upset, so you have to constantly be on your toes. Stand right here. Yeah, probably some clothes over here if you can get me some. What's the outfit? You should have seen the party that I was at. What did you get arrested for? For having my sister's identifications on me. That's what I got arrested for. Put the shirt on. I'm trying to go home already. I have to change into this nonsense and do it for no reason. Well, if you want to stay just like that while you're in here, that's fine with me. If I can, oh, I'll be. There you go. Perfect. I don't want to wear this stuff. I'm already dirty. Why do you feel dirty? Because I've been sitting around in that room for like five hours for no reason. I'm okay. oh, sorry, I'm just in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. pain. Everywhere. I'm a dancer. The whole reason, the whole reason I'm in jail is because my sister. Go the whole way down there to the end and sit in that last chair. So what's her deal? She went out to a club and it provided the a resident alien card. The birth date on it said 91. Well, she took a pin and just turned that nine to an eight real quick to try and get inside the club. She's being booked for uh, providing false information to a police officer, which uh, the story behind that is every, everything that she's telling us comes back to the ID that she's providing, right down to the tattoos on her back. Oh, so the picture looks just like her, everything. but she's saying it's her sister. She's saying that the ID is her sister. Hey, Renata. Yes. Who's that? What do you mean, who's that? She's a, she's a dancer, too. You she works at Little Darling. You just No, 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 no. No, no, no. She oh, works at Little oh, Darling. That looks just like you. I know it looks like me. That doesn't have nothing to do with it. Was she I, a twin? Almost. Five-year difference, except a month's difference. Yeah. Five years and, like, a month. Yeah. You guys looks never like seen you. sisters that look alike, even identical? That's funny. Well, then fill this out as Renata, because that's who you are. Sign down there. You sign your real name, which is Renata. And then can I uh, get out of here? It'll be a while. She was apparently trying to get into a club that uh, she was too young to get in. She's only 19, so she tried to alter the ID, and she's really rolling with this whole, this is my sister's ID and not mine. So we'll see where it goes from there. All right. Well, let me go get the sergeant to sign this, and we'll see how... Uh, how you make it through the rest of the process, okay? Turn proper. I gave her another try. This is the blonde out there? Yeah. Just so you're aware, she refuses to put on any jail clothes, so we may uh, be getting her through this whole process dressed the way she is. We'll figure something out, because she's not going to come out here like that. All right. Officer? You almost officer? You're an officer, right? I am an officer. What's Can wrong? Can I go to the Are restroom? Are you on something right now? Yes, Are I want to blow my drunk? nose. But there's no tissue in there. I went there and there's no, no, no okay, tissue. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go Thank in there. Thank you so go. much. Go yeah, ahead it's in there. so nice. Go ahead in there. Knock on the door. Make sure there's nobody in there. You don't want to knock? You're just going to walk in on somebody? Nobody's there. Can I go in? Go. Yes, thank go. you. Yes. Wow. Did you guys come in with him? No, 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 no way. I just, I just met him right now. You just met him right now? Yeah. My first time in Vegas. So you're in here? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you. I feel down. relief. Sit down and quit yelling out at me. I'm not yelling. I'm just talking to you. What did you get arrested for? You know why I being me and him, we just we were stupid. sitting outside of a casino, just had, had disrespectful. a disrespectful. You're disrespectful. That's is that your is that what your charges are? You know what? It but should you know, be. You didn't get your charges told to you before no. you got arrested? You just no. got in the car without they don't. They, don't. they know what their charges are. No, 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 no. I don't know. It's my, it's my birthday yesterday. 
Was your, is that why you came I turned 20, for your birthday? Yes, that's why he's here. 21. So give me a wild guess as to what your charges are. We were drunk. Um, and we were drunk in public. I would say yes. Was he with you? Uh, no. no. No, no. I don't know this guy. Yeah, we I mean, we were supposed to leave today. <laughs> that was the whole goal. Well, doesn't look like you're going to be going home today. No. What did you get arrested for? Uh, I don't know. I just bumped it. I bumped it in a guy's, like, nothing happened to this truck. Nothing. Man, man okay. can we move away? You know what? You're extremely needy. Any, any extremely trouble. needy. And you two no, are like bip and bop. No, no, no. no I've yeah. been here before. No, I don't want any trouble. Uh, I've been here before. How about, let's, let's see if we, the three of you, for yeah. 10 minutes, okay. can be totally quiet. Can I ask None of you say it. Shh. Can I no, shh. Uh, okay. They got arrested for disorderly conduct. Uh, two people approached us saying there's two drunk guys next to the revolving door. We casually walk up, and they start running. So we go talk to them. Um, the uh, suspect uh, gets, he, we try to take him into custody. Um, and then uh, his partner then attacked my partner for taking him into custody. Nothing like staying in Vegas. I'm not talking to you, it's stupid. Just shut up. Winger ding. Oh, wow. Just, just you guys aren't doing it. How hard is it to stay no, quiet for. Ma'am. Him. He would antagonize. I'm sitting here. Who? He's antagonizing? Yeah. No, no, no. Asian. Me? Leave I'm not me Asian. I'm Brazilian. Whatever, dude. Just oh, leave me alone. Stupid. Please. If you're quiet, this will all stop. I know. I know. But you know what? Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, look. Hey. Problem solved, man. Problem solved. No, he's just going to get his fingerprints done. He's coming right back. No. Why would you do that? You're in jail. I'm not here to make you happy or accommodate okay, you. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. As long as it's gone for now, it's fine. If they can't follow directions and keep arguing amongst themselves, one of them will eventually end up in a side cell. It'll be fun tomorrow. It'll be all right. All right, Miss Renata, we'll try and get you out of here. Sit in the front row. Don't get up unless you hear your name called, or you raise your hand and get permission. All right? Get permission from the officer that's out here. Go sit down. She could have been out of here a long time ago. Nope, front row, front two rows. But she didn't want to cooperate, and she went on with her lie. So hopefully this experience taught her her lesson, and she doesn't do that again. pre-arrest, I actually get to know some people. I've seen people that come in at the worst points of their life, and I've got ones that come in that start off really, you know, just over something really stupid and then turn into things like drugs or other things, and I just see them slowly deteriorating every time they come in. OK, I'm going to do a pat search on you. Spread your feet, ma'am. Face that wall, ma'am. Hold still. No, no. You Spread you your feet. Relax, relax. OK, listen to me, listen to me. Turn and face this way. Turn and face this way. Don't get all crazy. Don't get all crazy. Okay, relax. Why are you? <laughs> what is going on with you? Nothing. Will you? Doesn't like getting hair in the face, ma'am. We good? Let's try this again. We're not good. We're not good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, no. She's held that bitch. Please. No, we're not. We don't call the bitch a lot tonight. <laughs> stop. Stop. Mean? All right, come on. Let's go see medical. My arm hurts. Let well, if you just hold still. Stand right here. Don't sit down. Uh, hold still. Did you use any kind of drugs tonight? Nope. No drugs? Not for two days. No. What did you used to use? What I used to use? Two days ago. What are you talking about? You said you did drugs two days ago. I never did drugs. My whole life. You haven't done anything for two days, you said? Not for me. Night you. Stop, stop, stop. We're done here. Let's go. We'll get a comfortable chair for you, ma'am. You need to relax. Right here, ma'am. There you go. Okay. What was my charge? Looks like she was under influence of either alcohol or drugs or something. Yeah. Have some time to sit down and think about what you did. You can't do that, sir. Stand up. We're going to talk for a second, OK? You can't be Be quiet. 
I have a huge problem with you in here, okay? You are too loud for my room. Do you hear anybody else screaming except for that lady that just came in? Because you two are fitting off of each other. So, when, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? That's not working. What was she doing? She's, she's screaming at everybody, yelling at everybody, and then she just tried to fight us. Why are you screaming? Get off my chair, ma'am. Go and escort by the elbows. Relax, relax. Stop tensing up. No! Do not tense up. You relax can't tell your me what hand. To do, man. Relax your hand. What relax do you do? Relax your hand. Stop it. Who's going to make me? We are. I don't give a crap anymore, ma'am. I don't either. It's too bad. Whatever. I've got, I've got people in high places. Put your hand up on the wall. Hi. Very good. Maybe we'll give her an opportunity to cool down and we'll have a doctor come take a look at her. Lisa? Yeah? Can we take you out of the chair, you gonna behave? Yes. Listen to the officers? Yeah. Okay. What's my charge? Trespassing. What do you mean trespassing? What's the charge? That's what the cops said when they brought you in. What they say, but would you see the paperwork? It says trespassing. What? Did I, I sign so. something that I said I trust? Why are you yelling? You We're right I'm here. I'm not yelling. That's a lie, though. Okay. No, we we'll move her upstairs, did you okay. say? Because I don't believe she's going to cooperate if we take her. I don't her. think so, either. OK, come on. We're going to get you upstairs now. She's so unpredictable and erratic in her behavior that she'd be better off in 2C, which is isolation. So we're going to come in here, uh, take her out of her chair, give her some clothes, and then uh, she'll be seen with a psych doctor tomorrow. Peggy was placed in a side cell due to her behavior out in pre-arrest. It's been a couple of hours. I'm hoping that she's been able to sober up just a little bit in order to talk to me, but we'll see how it goes. Peggy, why don't you tell me what happened? I I had an issue with that Alex guy. Who's Alex? The one that called the cops. He's from Cuba. They're all speaking Spanish, and I have an issue about people that live in our country that do not speak English. OK, so what happened tonight? You drank two bottles of wine earlier, is no, what you I told didn't. them. Nope. So you haven't drank at all tonight? Yeah. How much? What? I had two glasses of wine with my girlfriend. Oh, OK. And things got her more. They poured my wine out. They had, they had a Right, Two down. bottles. That's what I'm saying. One is full. Oh, okay. The other one is half full. We, we, That's we not drank. a lot. And then the cop that was there, he took it and he dumped it. It was good he did that. It I'm got sure. you. It got you in trouble tonight. You don't handle alcohol very well. You don't handle life very well, do you, bitch? Are you yelling at me? Yes. Well, then I can't talk to you if you yell at then me. Then don't talk to me anymore. Keep me here forever. so much. I don't care. Keep me here. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. Thanks for the good talk. Good talk. Oh, it's just amazing how what people can be when they're under the influence of alcohol. And I bet you tomorrow I'll go talk to her. She'll be totally different, and she'll actually carry a normal conversation with me. But for right now, she's very up. She's very down. She's nice. She's mean. She's happy. She's mad. So and until she can calm down, it's just pointless. Working at night in Las Vegas, you never know what's going to come through the door. We have to be able to size somebody up. We can tell within 10 seconds if a person's going to make it, if they're going to comply with their booking process, or if we're going to have to take it a step first, further and perhaps isolate them from the general population. Stand still. Go check your pockets. I've called them and tell them come get me, dude, and they'll tell you guys go f yourself in it. That's not very, that's not very nice language. No, it isn't very nice. Could, 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 could you please refrain from using the F word? Yeah, I'll try. You'll be able to fill out a comment card when you get released. Yeah, I know. Me? What happened with him out in the field? He was uh, in front of one of the local restaurants on the strip, mm -hmm. being drunk and disorderly. Uh, a couple of our partners responded. And I uh, started talking to him. He got belligerent and kicked my partner uh, in the groin. Uh, uh, is he OK? In... He's OK, yeah. Okay. Definitely He's OK. okay. <laughs> he was taken into custody and put in back of the PT van and uh, transported here. All right, thanks, guys. 
He's a little bit of a clown still. We're going to see how he does. Como esta? Okay, Kevin, that's enough for Spanish one-on-one, -on -one. okay? Thank you. Oh, wow. Speaking Spanish. I know, I know. Spanish. They're not really in the talkative mood, so. Freedom of speech? No. Now you're speaking. Free, no. I can't have freedom listen, of speech? Listen, listen. No, no, Kevin, no, it's freedom of speech. You no, know, he como doesn't want to talk to you. Como estas, homie? Look at, look, she's thinking I'm okay, disrespecting Kevin. him. We're going to court, dude. We're going to court. Kevin, you see that chair? Hey, You're going hey. in the chair if you don't stop. I don't care, dude. I've been in a chair plenty I know you time. have. I know Come you aside. have. And live the life no. free. Can't you be quiet? Free. No, it's Side cell? Sorry. To. Okay. Yeah. All right, Kevin, let's go. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm going to cobra up on you want, me to, on, you want me to stay out here or go? Okay. We got it. Okay. Bye, Kevin. Bye. Very drunk. Doesn't really have control of his actions. So we're just going to put him in the chair for right now. Let him calm down. We'll take him out a little bit later. I'm horrified. Calm down, Daniel. No, you guys just like, and I understand you guys get people. All like I did is ask you to too. turn Spread around. No. Look what straight ahead. Do do? I, mean, I want I you to stay facing straight ahead. What are you? What we need you to do is is look at the wall. This is just just. Any drugs on you? I didn't have drugs on me. What's no, that baggie used to for? Be in here. I don't know. You don't know? Somebody just stuck that in your pants pocket. Jay Sounds like there used to be warrant. something. In oh, there, you have a jaywalking warrant? Can you just stand still for like a half I'm a second? I'm trying to. I'm petrified. You keep moving around and wiggling like you're trying to hide something that you no, shouldn't I'm have. No, I'm not. That's mean. These handcuffs come off your hands, go on the back of your head. You understand? Yeah. Keep your feet spread. What does that mean? If you would have listened to him, you would understand what he just told you. You're not he listening. He talked so fast and put that hand on your but head. Rudely. Daniel needs a little help. Come on. Okay, you're gonna go with them. How did you come in contact with Daniel tonight? He was loitering at this uh, over at East Twain where I was known high drug area, and uh, we went to confront him. Well, while we're talking to him, uh, he had to end up having a warrant. Um, while we decided to arrest him, my partner here decided to go through his bags, you know, take it here to jail, and come to find out he had some pills that didn't have any prescription, so we arrested him for that. Okay. And I guess when I was while down here, he must have had something else with him. I'm not sure what it is yet, so. Okay. Those look like Xanax. Yeah, it, it, there's uh, two milligrams. Yeah. But then we, have our, we already have six of them already. Where were, they're just in the purse. Yeah, they're just floating around in the bottom of those. Okay. We had to conduct a strip search on this gentleman because we found a little baggie of possible cocaine on him. Yeah, he said it was cocaine. He did say it was cocaine? Yeah. But it wasn't his pants, right? Right. No, actually, no. These are... I live in a house full of girls. Shoot your arm out. Your left arm. What is that? Do you shoot up? I just started about five days ago. What are you shooting? Is it cocaine? When was the last time you did that? Yesterday, when I got my tax return, I bought $50 worth of it. What's going on that's so terrible that you have to shoot up the drugs? It's my choice, too, so... All right. All right, come over here. Daniel, looks like they got you for having the pills on you without your prescription, but you no, can fight that in court. That. You take your prescription with you in court. Come on out this way. We're glad you're calmed down now, okay? You're a much nicer person, calm. I know. First row, left hand side. Wait for medical to call you up, okay? Listen for your name. First hand row, left hand side. When he came in, he was upset. I think he was still kind of high, and that's wearing off now. And so the sleep is starting to enter in, but I think he'll be fine. I went to lunch. Kevin was being removed from the pre-arrest lobby for disruptive behavior. Looks like he's doing a lot better when he first came in to our facility. Kevin! 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 Mm -hmm. I'm fine. You're all right? You sobered up a little bit? I'm fine. When the police first came in contact with you tonight, what, what was happening? I was, I was having a, a drink, I think, mm -hmm. and, and they just came out of the middle of nowhere, and I just I just had, like, one beer, mm -hmm. two beers, maybe. That's all? I don't even know okay. what happened. Yeah. I don't know why I'm here. Well, you seem like you're doing a lot better. Maybe next time you decide to drink, party, stay home? Well, maybe stay next home? time I'm going to get drunker. Yeah. 
But maybe stay home and you won't yeah, have to come that's to jail. Yeah, that's what my plan was. Okay, okay well, get some sleep. So I'm a good have citizen. Sweet dreams. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Kevin is doing much better. However, Kevin is still a little bit intoxicated. It, it appears that he needs to have a nap of about a few more hours. And hopefully next time he drinks, he'll stay home and he'll avoid jail. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops have stole me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Officer came in, said we have a code five coming in, so we're gonna check it out right now. We're bringing him in for disturbing the peace. He was just outside, uh, outside his apartment, screaming at people. Let's do it! 911, I called seven times! Come help me! You wanna go do this? Hey, are you suicidal at all? No, I'm not suicidal. Are you homicidal? No, I'm not homicidal. I called 911 seven times. This guy tried to force his way into my house. Seven times, the security guard. Stand up. Nine times on 911. I'm just telling y'all. Okay. Step this way. Yeah, you guys, I called 911 seven times. They wouldn't respond to my call. Spread your feet. And they wouldn't do nothing. Spread your feet. Spread your feet, sir. I got a broken foot. I'm just letting y'all know I got a broken foot, homeboy. Walk backwards, sir. Come on back. Hey. Come on back. Seven on times back. I called 911. Nobody helped me. 60 minutes, homie. Nobody helped me. Hey, break my neck, bitch. You think I care? Break my neck. Break it, bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I spit on you? No, I didn't. I don't spit on people, okay? Hey, you're breaking my right ankle. Oh, yeah, you're breaking my right ankle. I told him my right foot was broken. I told him. It looks like uh, Myron's pretty amped up tonight. Obviously been drinking or on some type of drugs, having a bad night. Uh, he's probably going to spend a, at least two hours in that chair. How's that sound, bitch? Seven times they call 911. No response! No respond a boom. Yeah. You guys brought uh, Myron in? Yeah. Uh, Give me a little bit more information about what was going on. Someone called in to 911. Uh, it got, the call got cut. Someone was yelling. He got there. Security met us at the, at the entrance. Said he was threatening the security guard. Said he was gonna stab him if he came up to his house. Many bystanders were walking by and said, hey, this guy's threatening me. Obviously, he was, yeah, the, he he was, was the issue. He was the issue. OK. What are we gonna charge him with tonight? He was uh, obstructing a police officer. Uh, we're trying to come do an investigation on him. He kept interrupting. Uh, he's also disturbing the peace. Like, like I said, when we got there, people walking by, he was yelling at him. He's threatening some old ladies, actually, as we're walking yeah, out, nice. so. That sounds like him. OK. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, thanks. Cool. Ain't no problem. Seven times, and they told me, oh, we'll be right out. <laughs> what do you think I am, a punk-ass bitch? What's your name, sir? Myron. Myron? Myron, you go, what you got to do first, this is what you got to do, is you got to calm down and not yell at me anymore, OK? All right. You got to be quiet. I will be. All right. If you do that, I'll come and actually check out your leg. But you got to do that for me broken, first. Man. When did it break? Maybe three weeks ago. Three man. weeks ago? It took you three weeks to get an appointment with the doc? Well, I ain't no punk ass bitch. I just, you know. OK. What brought you to jail today, sir? The security guy tried to push his way into my house. I called seven okay. times. Why was he trying to get into your house? The guy downstairs. Got 15 and 16 year old girls so in his house. So is this like a condo thing? And then the other guy came up to my house and tried to and tried to front me. And I said, Hey man, don't front me. And the and the security guy was right behind him, and he was fronting with the guy downstairs. He's a pedophile. And uh, did you tell the police about that? I did. But did you tell him yelling and screaming? Yeah, or did you I tell did. him like I we're was already pissed off. I just oh, man, I acted stupid. Here's the thing: is I acted stupid, and then I went to jail. Hey, uh, Myron, this is Myron. Myron. That, that's, there ain't that's, nobody named Myron. That right there is the real Myron. What's this young man's story? He, uh, this young man 
in his own words, acting stupid. Well, at least he admitted it. Well, Sounds right to me like broken, I think that the young man is learning his lesson slowly but surely. And he's finally now talking. Before, he was just yelling, so I got him I heard talking. a lot of yelling when I came in here. Yeah, so now I'm going to actually assess your leg, and now that we have a conversation, I can see what I can do about that. You got that? OK. <laughs> All right, Myron, we're going to take you out of the chair. Just as we've been talking. Totally cooperative. Excellent. That's what we expect, sir. You got it. All right. Myron, come talk to me right here for just a second. So uh, I appreciate your cooperation. What did you get so mad about earlier, man? Why did you come into the jail so upset? The security trial was trying to push his way into my house, man. I wasn't having none of it. So that got you upset, and then once much Metro showed yeah, up, he's and you... he'd been, he'd been trying to he'd been trying his little stuff around the neighborhood. So I just, you know, I ain't having none of it. Okay, you had to stand and up I, for I, yourself, I right? I didn't mean to go off on you guys. It, 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 it all just kind of, kind of uh, 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 snowballed. Once the ball got rolling, then the ball's rolling. You know what I'm saying? All right, I hear you. And I was pissed. And then once I was right. pissed, y'all put me in the chair, and then they, the chair straightened me all up. Good. <laughs> so it did its job, right? Man, get me out of that scene. All right. All right, Myron, I'll be back in just a few minutes, all right? All right, brother. Appreciate y'all. You know, it's amazing to me every time we end up putting somebody like that comes in real excited and. Um, very hopped up and on their adrenaline and everything else and the alcohol. Um, our lovely restraint chair did his job, was able to uh, settle the guy down, and uh, we were able to get him out without having to additionally fight him or anything else, which is very nice. Going out and making money. So how so is I would that? get in trouble and I still got in trouble. <laughs> For sleeping on the grass. Yeah. That would be therefore like a maybe a trespass. Okay. I have old warrants. Yeah. Old warrants. So I'm sure they weren't aware of the fact that because you didn't do some special favors for people is why you were sleeping on the grass. Right. Just relax. Okay, step on out here. There's a chair with a number three on it. You're gonna have a seat right there until medical calls you up. What was her first name? Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. Okay, so what did we bring Melissa in for today? Oh, we got a call this morning at the budget suites that she was sleeping in the grass. She's not a resident there, so they wanted her to move it along. And when we showed up, she was still kind of in an anxious state. We found out that she had some outstanding warrants and brought her down here for the same. Okay. Go ahead and stand right here, face that way. So you're back with us. Go ahead and separate your feet. How many times have you been here? 45 times. Why do you keep coming in? You miss us? Vegas just like me. Hand across your chest for me. How old are you now? I'm 29. How did you come in contact with the police today? I had a concealed weapon on me, a knife. And what was that for? Whoever needs it. I was leaving the Palms Casino, the security guard from the Palms. He would ask me for my ID, and he was like being crazy. And then one of the guys called me dumb and stupid. Security. The security. You stupid ass bitch, you hoe. And he goes to try to like grab me, and like I yank back. When I yanked back, I already had my hand in my purse. So you were trying for the night. Man, you can't stab security. Yes, I can. I can stab who I want to stab. Well, I'm glad you're here just on having the knife and not actually stabbing so, like, someone. Right. Right, numbers? because if I was in jail for stabbing someone, be I would look around and smile, like, hey, 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 he deserved it. You're going to have a seat in the third row next to that young lady right there. Melissa, what are you gonna do when you get out? I just got out of jail. Oh. I get out and get high. What makes you go back out and do it again? I'm an idiot. I have no clue. If I knew, I wouldn't do it. How old are you? I'm a Delphine. 28. You're 28. What? Yeah. 
Excuse me. I think, I think you were talking, you had some advice for her, didn't you? I'm 29, okay? I know. I know, I know it's not dope, but I can get my shirt and I can do jail time, I can do all that, for, and I'm not gonna learn. So I was 21, I lost my mom for crack cocaine, you know, but she, the brain, she had a brain aneurysm and it triggered her brain aneurysm to crack. She had her last hit and she died in front of my sisters. Drop dead right there on her last hit. Honey, I understand exactly where you're coming from. A lot of people go through things, you know what I'm saying? But you can't let the drugs take you. I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna slam the open right Do you want to change? Nah, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not bull****. No, 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 it's cool, I understand that. So like, Do you have children, Melissa? I have three. You have three? They don't live with you? I lost custody of them, and ever since then, I've been slamming dope. Is that up. You, no chance I, no, of getting them I back? See him, I see my visits. I may change composure, but I can't have them back, so really, I've never heard of them. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that reason enough to quit doing drugs? I quit now. I already lost them. You have to always be strong. I'm an idiot. All right. You're not Melissa, gonna we're going to call you up for your booking photo now. You can bring that with you. Okay? Not You're going to go straight through here? Make a right just past the front row. So have you learned anything from your newfound friend there? I don't know. I have abused myself, like self-destruction. Look at me now. 28 years old. 28 years old and I'm a wreck. And I can't stay away from it, no matter how hard I try. You're still alive. There's still time to turn things around. Same rules apply out here. You're going to raise your hand if you need the restrooms or the phones. Mm -hmm. There's an area to the right with a red line. Don't cross that, because that's the officer's area, OK? And you'll get in trouble. See, this section over here is the male section. Don't talk to the boys. Have a seat in one of the first two rows. She fell asleep in the grass because she was high, but she was trespassing. Hopefully, she can, she can kick that habit and get healthy. She does have children, so it would be great to see. Robin, come on in. So, just so you know, I think you made a, an impression on Melissa, your friend that you met out here. I think you made an impression on her life a little bit. How does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel good to know that I can um, give some, make somebody feel better. And, you came to jail for one thing, and maybe you... God got me here for a reason. Maybe you helped somebody while you were here. What do you think? I had to speak to somebody. Somebody needs to hear me, so it took for me to come here for them to hear me. They're not listening to me outside. <laughs> All right, come on out here. Carrying a switchblade. Carrying a switchblade. Ready to cut somebody. I think uh, your friend Melissa is still here, so you can have a seat up there. And uh, we'll see you later for today. Maybe we'll see you back in a little while. Okay, man. You're going to see me back later, yeah? That's where you're not going to see me. Robin met Melissa out front. They're going to have a few more hours out here together, and maybe she can help her out. Sit down. Sit. We'll what let you know. Have a seat, sir. So I've been charging yeah, for you. What have I been charging for? I don't know yet, man. Hey, exactly. So why the f***ing want to get a jail for f***ing something I've never done wrong? Turn and face this way. Why do I have to get a jail for something I've never done? What have I done wrong? I'll so, let you know when I find out. You'll know, okay? What, so why do I get, why do I get treated like this? Everybody gets treated like this, sir. So you got into a fight with your brother? No, wrestle. Yeah, but you're bleeding. Listen, from your so you mouth. got in a fight yeah. with your brother. No, we wrestled and we just wrestled, hit the wall. Well, somebody thought you were fighting. That's my brother there. Run him. You my brother? <laughs> we were wrestling the whole life. Come on, I'm not wrestling. Well, somebody wrestling thought you were fighting, man, and that's what happened. Uh, so Unfortunately, you gotta go through the court system now, man. What? I'm just telling you. They're for the court system. That's probably what I brought you in, because you guys were wrestling. We call it fighting. I want to bring you a strike right now. Come on up here, sir. We'll have hey, a seat in the out. second row, first seat, man. Go sit by that, too. Right there. Come here, sir. Come here. Have a seat, bud. Yeah, right there, please. So where are you from, man? Australia? Yeah. So why'd, you, why'd they bring you in tonight? Me and brother having a bit of a footy game in there all way. Tackle with each other. Hit that wall, hit that wall. That was it. You guys just playing around? Yeah. We did it all the time, every day of the week. Uh -huh. Somebody thought you were fighting. We didn't, we didn't know it was different over here. Hey, you can't be in a hotel fighting in the hallway. Back home, that's, that's normal. We didn't know it was different. Sorry. Just chilling out fun. That's what we thought, anyways. How'd you bust your lip up? Your lip's like twice the size of the other one. Tackling. 
We were playing rugby. We were playing rugby in Hawaii. Footy. Just you two were playing? Two yeah. man team? One on one. Oh, all right. Hey, all right, stand up. Yeah, I was just blowing off some steam, having a little fun. Just tackling. Did you have something to drink tonight? Yeah, had a few. Had a few? Both of you guys? Yeah. How many did you have? Everyone in base does have a few, don't they? That's true. <laughs> all right, cool. You're going to go in this room, have a seat in the second row, first seats. Second row, first seat. So what's going on with those guys, man? I guess there was a maid cleaning and there. She heard a scuffle and she rounded the corner and these two were uh, fighting in the hallway or wrestling as she described it. Okay. They claimed they were playing rugby, but the injuries are not consistent with playing a sport. It's obviously a fight, so. Yeah. Ronald, come back here, please. They said that uh, they fight a lot at home. They do live together as well. They call them tiffs. They have tiffs all the time with each other. <laughs> Over here, man. Put your right thumb right in the middle of the red light, man. You understand why you're here, though, in jail, right? Yeah, wrestling. Yeah, you can't fight with your brother, man. I know I know you guys do it all the time. Wait, sorry. It's okay. You don't have to apologize to me. Yeah. I understand that. No, but we do, because you're the one that had to come there and, uh, and, and make, look after your It's age. part of our Idiocy. job, yeah. You understand that, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Go ahead and have a seat where you were, then. You good? Brian! Brian! Come back here, please. Brian, I'm see you right now. Brian, you understand why you're in jail? No, I don't. Here's the deal, man. In Nevada, if there's a domestic violence and there's a battery, we have to make an arrest per state law, okay? You and your brother are in a fight. You can bail out in the morning. But we gotta get you fine. You should have thought about that before you got in a fight with your brother, you know? There wasn't a fight, there was a wrestle, bro. Okay, wrestle with your brother. Your actions have consequences. Okay? You guys are wrestling, man. Somebody thought you guys were fighting. That's why they called us. So, how do I clear my name? Uh, you got to go through the courts for that. It's just a misdemeanor, not a major charge. But we, we haven't done nothing wrong. We're just two ballots having a wrestle. Well, unfortunately, through Nevada state law, you have done something wrong. When can I ring the embassy? The Australian explain, embassy? He already explained that to you when you go. I'm going to get outside. Yes. Uh, have Thanks, a seat, sir. wait, be patient, right. and they'll call your name, okay? Yeah, no worries, buddy. No problem. I think they'll be all right later. Yeah, they're not bad people. Unfortunately, they got themselves in a bad situation. Alcohol, I think, played a major factor in what happened. Big factor. Just typical people come to Vegas, uh, think this is a big playground. You think they can come here and do anything and get away with it. But now that is mix alcohol, having fun in Vegas, uh, you can get arrested. Yeah, they got a memory to uh, take back home with them. They said they were going to tell their parents about this. So <laughs> they were excited to show their mom their booking photo. How you doing, man? Doing good. Good? Yeah, you're smiling. That's a good start. Hey, turn, face you that see, way. You there you go. You say walk in the green mile, walk in the green mile. So that's oh, you're not that far yet. Yeah, Spread your feet out for me, please. Okay. If you need to walk the mile, we'll let you know. But that's a prison thing. Yeah, this is. is jail. All right. So oh. far, you haven't even been convicted of anything. What's up? Just got off work. I work security at uh, Chateau Nightclub in the Paris. Yeah? You're working security, but you get to drink on duty, or what's the deal? No, I had a few... Afterwards? Quite a few drinks afterwards and stuff. All right. So what kind of scooter do you run? 50 cc? Yep. Under the limit 49 of... 49 cc, I think, yeah. technically. 49? You know, considered, but... So what did you hit? Car. Oh, you hit another car? Yes, sir. What's this, part of today's wreck? No, um, on Monday when it was raining out, I was stopping at a stop sign, skidding out of my moped, and just cut my hand open. You crashed here. twice in the same week? Yeah, you're not real good on that, man. I got to. Hey, I, 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 I didn't have a drink with me that time, though. You so. weren't drinking? No. Nope. Right, turn around and have a seat right there. Yes, sir. Did you go to the hospital for that wrist? No, I, just, I mean, I got a big cut, and it's just in a weird spot, so I just figured I'd put some gauze on it and wrap it up. So let the nurse know about any injuries you have. Okay. Yeah. This guy got friendliest officer of the year this year, so you couldn't get in better hands. We can do a breathalyzer on you. Right there in the right chair. Chair of honor. You know, the driver said he pulled you out from underneath the car. Did you actually slide under? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I can't remember. You can't remember that? What was the situation when you arrived? Oh, we got dispatched to a uh, traffic accident. This gentleman was driving his small motorcycle uh, wrong way, going northbound on southbound lanes. Uh, the other driver actually seen him coming and stopped, uh, and then he drove right in and hit the front of his car. It was a head-on collision. Uh, he actually went underneath the car, so he's lucky the other driver stopped, or he would have been 
seriously injured. So did you just nosedive right smack into the front of the vehicle? I guess so. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't remember. So. Really? Okay. Did you have your helmet on at the time? Yes. So you had a helmet. That's probably yeah. good news. Go ahead and stand up. Deep breath. Look. I need a tone. Can't fake it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Blow, blow, blow. Yeah, have a seat. Can I take him over to medical? Good yeah, for a minute. Just explain this to him real quick. Okay, go ahead. So the legal limit in the state of Nevada is 0 0 0.080 on call level. You blew 0 0.129. So you're well over the legal limit. All right, thank you, sir. All right, come on. Go straight on through. He's got a wrist injury from an accident he had earlier this week. It needs to be checked. It's just a little cut. It's just in a weird spot. I got blisters bigger than that. Are you kidding me? Suspect a big war wound, no, you know. Just, yeah, I just wrapped it like just that. Just needing stitches, but you toughed it out, glued it up, put a little Rambo yeah, stitch in there. I off the top of my thumb once and All never right. got stitches. Or I used to be a butcher, so. A little fresh air would probably do some good. He's all done. All right. All right. Go All right. The Come on over. Yes, sir. You have a seat in the first row. If you need anything, just raise your hand and ask. He's very fortunate the car stopped and didn't hit him with uh, an even greater impact, or he might not be here right now. Arrested because I had a warrant that never existed. No, in the you're, not in, you're not here. You're not here for the warrant. You're not here for the warrant. That's you're why they said they. Nope. They said they wouldn't stand right here. If it wasn't for the Turn warrant. around, face that way. Spread your feet out. He's here for uh, obstructing, obstructing a sidewalk. A sidewalk. He's uh, down on the strip on the bridge. And... I had a very bad week. I came here. I have a house in New Mexico. I told you guys that. I was never here in 2012 when the original warrant allegedly happened. Honestly, dude, get a hold of your crew. Maybe you'll get some stripes. I don't Seriously, want strikes. This is cool. Turn around here. Turn around, face that way, spread your feet out. You're gonna become an unclass two real soon. Real quick. You look like you're about to break my hand for no, no reason. Yeah, you're turning around and waving that off, sir. Oh wow. Are you I'm hiding sorry, something? I turned around. No, I'm not. How do we know that? I don't know. Search my ass. Look. There's no call for all that, This right? is no call for yep. this. He's bending yep. my bone into a yep. chicken. I'm bone. gonna hold you right here. You're gonna turn around, I'm gonna control you. Yeah, you are. Dude, stop mandolin. breaking my hand. See? Stop moving on me. You understand Ow! that? Do you understand that? Ow! Do you understand that? Ow! Stop! Stop! Tony Stand still. Stop! 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 Oh, my God, dude. Put your hand down your side there. Christopher, how are you doing? Please tell me what crime I committed. Listen, this is what's called a class two. It's a ticket, OK? If you sign this ticket and calm down, we'll get you out of here in a couple hours. That's a long time, and I'm far away from okay. where I need to Listen, be. Listen, the alternative is I rip this up, and you stay here for the weekend. I'll sign it. OK. Oh, oh that's half of it. The other half is you comply with what we need to get done. OK. okay. I can't wait till Jesus comes Amen. back. All right, now, we're, we're ready for it, up. believe me. Pull your pants Pull up. Pull your pants up off your feet. Put these slippers on. There you go. We didn't bring you in here, but we don't need the attitude in here either. You be respectful to us, and we'll be respectful to you. All right? Come on over here. You're going to see the nurse over here. Let them know any medical problems you have or any medications you take. What's going on with uh, Christopher? Well, Christopher was uh, up on the bridge uh, in New York, New York, uh, pretty much blocking pedestrians, walking. Uh, sanitation workers from the county came by, trying to clean up the bridge. They refused to move from them. Um, pretty much nobody could get around. Uh, officer came out, asked to move, wouldn't move. So uh, they classed him for the obstructing sidewalk. And He's been warned before and multiple arrests for the same things. Yeah. Christopher was just here a couple days ago, so I'm thinking he thinks that it's still the same case. Cases are running together. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Christopher, how are we doing? I'm okay, dude. I've been okay. fine. I guess they brought you in because you wouldn't get out of the way for the street sweepers or something? Um, that's totally false, but fine. This is the honest to God's truth. What I was informed is that somebody had beat up a child molester, and there was a puddle of dried up blood where we were sitting, and there were several people who had already gathered there. But half an hour ago, everything's on camera. Nobody obviously wanted to charge anyone. They walked away. They're still alive. 
You know, like nobody refused to move out of the way for the street sweeper at all, period. That would be a completely dickhead move, and I am not a dickhead. The reason that I got arrested again is for a ticket that happened when I had never been to Nevada. So when you got arrested a couple days ago? It was for that, and now I'm arrested again because I was sitting on the sidewalk when they ran my name, which I gladly gave to them. They were like, oh, you got failures to appear, and they arrested me. It's just, I've so never gotten a ticket you. for jaywalking in Nevada ever, but I've been to jail for one twice. All right, so you're going to be cool. We get you through this process, get you out of here? Definitely. OK, because it's just going to be a couple hours. Cool. OK, I don't want to have to keep you here for the weekend, so you need to lay low. And... I'll try my best to figure it out. OK. I'm a murderer all of a sudden. No. No. Sure. Sure. Two days ago, you got a charge sheet, and you waited around for the whole process yes. to get out of here. Sucked. Today, you're just getting a ticket. Awesome. Remember, Jesus you act gonna up. going to remember that you're nice. You act up. The sergeant can take this away from you. I know you all think I'm like a fanatic Christian or something, but I'm not. I'm actually an alien from Arcturus, and that's in the Boots Constellation. And if you look that up, you'll figure it out. There's no such thing as Boots Constellation. The Boots Constellation? You're tripping. There's billions of stars. I could make up a Xavier Yavapa constellation. Lord, exists. your boys. Sorry that happened, bro. I would be bitter if not you, bro, neither. We're not related. Fine. We just came from the same big bang. But when Christ comes back, he'll explain it all. Come here, young man. Okay, don't sit in the last two rows. Sit anywhere else there. As soon as they print you over there, you're going to release it. So be cool while you're out here. He ain't going to make it. This is the second time in here in three days. We'll see how it works out. What? Turn and face this way. What am I under arrest for? I don't know. Why are you people harassing me? Here, sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit. I asked an answer. You want to answer that? Sit down. I don't know. You don't know why you're harassing me? Harassing you? No. I'm already, I'm already enrolled in law school. I got this handled. I don't know about probable cause, cause of action. Do you know what probable cause of action even means? No, you don't. Can I explain something? No, no. You're not my attorney. You I are just, not the I prosecutor. Just want to give you some You're advice. not the prosecutor. You going to school for a while? What crime did I commit? Are you going to school what for a while? What crime did I commit? I don't know yet. I don't, I don't no, know. No, no, because I didn't. Think of something. But think about Make a stick. The fact that you're under arrest. What, what crime okay. did I commit? I'm going to just. When you're ready to listen, I'll explain it to you. Hey, come on, well, let's go see medical. Come on. Come on, man. I'll medical? Stand up. You're, you're not. You're not even just walk straight, sir. Just walk. You're not uh, listening. Great. You have nothing. I have broken the law. What law did I break? Trespass. I have a key to the hotel where I'm trying. Sir, what's your first name? Fred. Do you drink alcohol? I did at, at, at Harrah's. So today then, right? Yeah, I was at Harrah's. All right, uh, any drugs? No, 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 no. Beautiful. You can have this. Come on, let's go. What were they charged with? Trespass. For what? Where did Come trespass? behind you. Obviously, he's had way too much to drink tonight. And apparently, he got trespass off of Harrah's. You don't know what I'm being charged with yet? Trespass. Where? Harrah's Hotel, Harris. sir. Harrah's Hotel. Have, have a seat. Hotel. Have a seat. Where I have, have a, a key? Have a seat, Stay seated. That's it. What am I charged? Don't get up. You've been told five times already. Oh. Sit down. All right. Stand up. They told me to go Stand up. Stand up. I don't know why you cannot follow simple instructions. He told me to stand away from the No. Relax. Walk. Don't resist. Just walk. How? How? You got the rope? My wrist. Right. No one's breaking your wrist. Right. 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 We tried to get a chance, and apparently he's just he's had way too much to drink. He refuses to listen to any instruction whatsoever. Now he's going to go to the side cell. You look at my arm! If you would just walk like you're supposed to. I'm trying to walk. But you're not. What are you talking about? Stop. I made this very clear to you, sir. I've done nothing. This is your one chance to sit here and calm me. I have not committed a crime. Am I yelling at you? Why are you yelling at me? Ow! Relax. I have horror on my arm. I have horror on my arm. Please stop. Bring your leg up again. Oh. Keep your feet on the floor. Ow! Ow! Oh, God. Very lenient with you. Ow! Oh, 
I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. It hurts. You are. Um, sit down. Hurts. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, sit. my God. Oh, sit down. Ow. Your feet flat. Dude, my arm is broken. Take a look, family. Take a look, family, please. No. I live in Torrance. I am running a room here. Dude, I have a room and I paid for my room. You're in this chair because you don't know how to behave. So you're going to spend two hours in this chair, and if you learn to behave, and we, we see you actually trying to behave, then we'll take you out. I'm but you're, you're, how many times have I told you, personally told you, what you're arrested for? I was really trying to inquire. Are you capable of comprehending basic speech? Apparently, I just wanted to piss you off. Can you, can you comprehend basic yes. speech? What were you arrested for? You said it was for, um, for a trespass. Trespass. OK, you're, you said you are in law school, aren't you? Are I you have, in law school? I am. Are you in I'm, law school? I'm taking, I'm taking Are you in law school? Classes. Yes. So my understanding as a, as a private property owner, do, would, I have, would, I have, would I have the right to, to keep people like you off my property? As somebody who owns a property, they have the right to keep people like you yes. who don't know how to handle their alcohol right. off their property. Yes. So they, they read you a formal trespass, and you can, and you continue to come on oh, their that property. Right? Formal trespass, sir. You were formally trespassed because you wouldn't be here. That's probable cause. You ready to come out of the chair, man? Yes. OK, we're going to give you a chance. We're going to put you over in another cell, give you a chance to kind of calm down a little bit, and then we'll get you out through the process, all right? It's one thing at a time, all right? Stay quiet for a little bit, and we'll pull you back out. I don't want to come back here ever again. Walk straight in. Get out your elbows. Tuck your elbows in. Walk to that white wall. Walk to that white wall. Walk to that white wall. Fred's a lot better now than he was when he first came in. Seems like the alcohol is wearing off, so he'll probably be out in a little bit. We'll get him back in the system, get him rolling, hopefully get him out of here. they bring you in here for? Uh, I thought it would be bad George. What for? I don't know how to wear that. It couldn't have been possession of a storm vehicle. Storm vehicle? Uh, yeah. I have can... you taken anything tonight? Yeah. Uh... OK, what are you on right now so I know? A lot of things. Sit down. Like what? Sit down. Uh, Xanax, crystal meth, and heroin. All that tonight? Uh, every day. Hand me your jacket. Are you feeling okay right now? I'm cold. I'm like, That's it? That's your only complaint right now? Well, no, I haven't ate, but I, I just bought food. I had fresh chicken wings. Did they, you eat your chicken wings? They didn't let me. That's a damn shame. Let me see your hair accessories, please. Hair accessories? I was like, oh, that man. Okay, I'm sorry. What would it be like to be in your head right now? I, I took some Xanax. I don't take Xanax, and um, my friend was going to kill himself because he wasn't with his girl, and, uh, well, I told him, you know, if you're gonna do this, then I'm gonna take half of it. Well, wow. you know, but it was so he didn't kill himself on him. You, know? you did it, so you saved his life by taking that Zanny bar and a half. Um, well, is that what I understand? Pretty yeah, much, yeah. Because if he would have took not even a whole, not even a whole half of a half of a half more, then yeah, he that's a lot died. of halves. Can you stand up? Can you put your hands behind your head? Yes. Don't play with your hair. Just set them on top of your head. Yeah, I was. I was playing with my hair. I was brushing it. I mean, I know you wouldn't brush your hair how I did. Well, I mean, that's fine. you're and a real there, woman. And, and there's a time and place for that, though. Right now, it's not it. Come on over here. I want you to sign right here for your property. How's it going inside there? Inside where? Your head. No disrespect. I'm sorry. I need Xanax. Otherwise, he would have took what he took and what I took. Is that your last? Oh, we're still going. OK, we're still signing. Aaron, come on. Walk with me. He's never took them before, you know what I mean? Right. Right over here. And he was taking them and trying to kill because his little girlfriend he was in love with. Right here. This is Aaron. Because I knew I wouldn't matter. Yes, what's your last name? What happened? Last name. I don't know exactly what she's on or how she usually handles it, but at the rate she's going, I mean, it takes her two hours to watch 60 minutes. Are you taking medication at all, miss? Legally or illegally? Apparently, once we got in here, she livened up, but uh, she's pretty quiet on the way here. Mm -hmm. She's just arrested for a warrant. How did you find her? They called us. She was apparently disoriented in front of the business, panhandling, and got the attention of us. So the warrant was for possession of stolen vehicle. Oh, OK. That makes more sense now, what she was trying to tell me. Aaron. 
Aaron, come on. I was just seeing if there was one here, like there was one in the city. Why do you need a sergeant? Because I'm pretty sure he could give me some crackers or something. A sergeant? You think a sergeant has crackers? No, I'm saying he could make this job do something about some kind of crackers. Right? And why would he help you out with that? Okay. Turn and face that direction. Okay. Turn and face that direction. You can physically turn your body and still stay in the box. Hold still. Don't move. I guess I am dumb enough that you have to speak yet. I did way. not talk to you like you were dumb. Can you oh. straighten out your head? Okay, that's like the opposite of straightening out your head. Oh. Turn your body to the right. The whole thing, right? The whole thing. Erin, how many times have you been here? I think when I was 18 once, and then, well, and then, uh... Just give me a, a, an estimate. How many times do you think you've been here? No, I'm going to use our answer. Uh, okay, Aaron, you've been here 16 times. Maybe five. I think you should lighten up on your uh, drug use. Well, I should quit my drug use. Well, that's, I was talking about baby steps, but yeah, you should. You're right, I have been taking baby steps. Tonight was not baby steps, and I understand you didn't want to take all that Xanax, but you had to. Uh, well, yes. At any time, did you think, maybe I should tell him don't take Xanax bars? I did, I couldn't stop him. That you could not when stop I was him. like, okay, well, thought if I say, hey, well, I'm taking some too, then that let, makes it half less that he will ingest. Oh, okay, that makes more sense now. Come on, Aaron. Here's your paperwork. Okay, there's your felony bench warrant that you were talking about. That's why you're here, but you know that. Go have a seat in the first row. If you need anything, you raise your hand. Aaron, okay. you gotta actually walk with your feet that okay, way. But can I ask you a question again? Can you ask a little faster? No, not right now, so I guess I won't. Thank you, Erin. Uh, she's come down a lot since she first came in, but she's also getting a little more emotional, getting a little angry now. Part of the process of detoxing, she's gonna, especially if she's been doing heroin, she's going to have a rough time in here. Sleeping? Yeah, man, uh, I was waiting for somebody else, and the gold dude took off to, I don't know what, what he was doing, but, uh... What guy? The gold man. The gold guy? Yeah, he's been in here before. So yeah, you guys he's work kind together? Of, he's kind of... Nah, I just started working with him. You just started working together? Yeah. And uh, do you just, like... I'm wondering, am I gonna get my money back, dude? Because, uh, the, the officer that, that woke me up and was being rude and stuff, he, he, uh... He had my money, and I'm wondering if I'm gonna get that back. If that's in, if How that's in my pretty, property report, pretty. it was like sixty bucks. It was okay. in my property report, though. Let me let me talk to the arresting officer about your money situation, and I'll explain everything to you. Okay? All right. Okay. Yeah. Sir, take a seat right here. Your officer was very very rude. He disrespected me, and so like what I told him was like, dude, you're a ass. The officer issued you a ticket. Okay? You're gonna sign the ticket. You're gonna go through the process, and then we'll release you. That's okay. fine. The $60, it could be in your belongings, but we don't have it. Fine. Okay? All right, you know what? Honestly, you think that your officer, your officer took it? You know what I mean? Like, you're Please that. stand up. We're gonna go see the medical staff at this time. I'm done with you. We can go see the medical staff. I can't even finish talking to you, huh? No. Well, well, we're, that, we're, that's what it is, though. I'm just talking. Uh, we're, we're just uh, a weird. We have yeah. 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 just a number to you guys. Huh? Take a seat over there and then road number two. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just bring in the guy with the silver paint on? Yeah. He was not disgruntled with you? Not with me, with the officers that arrested him. He, he thought the officers had, had basically tapped him on the head to wake him up. But when the it was his buddy who was tapping him on the head. OK. Was that the performer that's all dressed in gold there? Yeah. He's upset at the officers for arresting him for sleeping. He had some nice words to say to the officers. OK. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Eduardo, what brings you to jail here today? To be honest, I kind of blacked out after. You kind of blacked out? Yeah, when I was over there, I blacked out. I forgot what happened. You know? So where were you? I was in a circus circus. I was coming back. I was looking for my wife, my wife, uh, my wife and her, her family. Who do you think beat you up? Honestly, I forgot. You don't know? No, I forgot. I'm trying. I, I was, I'm trying to remember right now. All right. Take a seat right there. Let me see your hands there. The jail hey, you don't know why you came to jail today? No, yeah, it was for a battery. Battery? I said about me and my wife. 
I only remember is like her uncle holding me and then everybody's, I don't know, going crazy in there. Was it a family reunion? Yeah, it was a family, yeah. Oh. And, and you I, were at the hospital? Yeah, I was at the hospital, yeah. Okay. Let's go out of here and see the medical staff. Let's go out to row two, chair number two. The medical staff will be seated. I have a seat in my uh, first row. That's uh, yeah. Officer Lopez, do you know who beat him up there? From what I, I ascertained was uh, his, his fiance got him in the eye, but I guess she took more of the 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 fight. She she basically has a lot of injuries to herself too. Okay. What happened to you? I I just went to my room and I don't know what boom. I guess they, they told me that I got, had a confrontation with my wife. Boom, I got hit. Yeah? I got it. <laughs> so your wife beat your ass? <laughs> I guess I guess she did. <laughs> she <laughs> you up, yeah, bro. She did. I've good. been there before. Yeah. Daniel. Come on down here. Let's get your picture taken. That's All right, it, that's man. it. All right, man. Have a nice day. Enjoy it, bro. Stop getting fights, man. No, no. Yeah, no, no more fights. Don't behave now. <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll see you out there. All right, bye. Right, Hector, come on up here. I need one signature from you. Yeah. OK, but you're charged with battery domestic violence. Let's go out to the next room. If you have any questions while you're out here, raise your hand. Hey, right, first two rows. Hector seems pretty nonchalant about what he's being charged with. I don't think he understands the seriousness of his charges. Daniel, left hand side. This is Daniel's first arrest here for vagrancy. He'll be out of here uh, real soon, and he'll be out there entertaining the tourists of Las Vegas. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops have stole me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. times where I have inmates that come up to me and say they don't understand the charges they have. So if I can take the time to explain to them why they're here, what the charges are, their bail amount, it helps them to understand for them to calm down and, and just make it through the process. Face that way for me. What happened tonight? Her friend is a dominatrix. I mean, she's way more freaky than I am. I'm not into that. I'm not like this submissive at all. I'm more of an aggressive dude. She likes that, and that's what she was wanting. Yeah. And next thing I know, she's screaming, the police are coming. This is the first time she flipped out. Well, did she just you know, flip out, or was it just, you know? Well, it was the sex thing. She flipped out more than I've seen in the past. She started hitting me and screaming. and. I'm like, dude, I, I'm really submissive. Or was it just dominatrix no, type no, stuff, no. hitting and violence and Absolutely anything not. like nope. that? Nope. Nope. Just to have a good time. Yeah, I mean, that's her thing. It's not mine. I'm kind of more normal than that. I got three daughters. I'm a little more respectful of women than that, to be honest with you. So. She quite a bit younger than you? Or? She's 42. I'm 47. She looks a lot younger, but no, she's not. She used to be a showgirl. She used to dance with Tropicana. So she's a professional showgirl. She is hot, dude. But the last five years or so, she's been a dominatrix on the internet. She's got a website. She's got her pictures on there. So who called? Was it her neighbors? Yes. Just anyway. having your good time. And these guys got a little carried away. A little bit of drinking in there, too? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't drink that often. I probably had three drinks, and that's it. So probably not real sure how loud you were. Probably not. I'm going to take you down. We're going to see the nurse down yeah, I here. I I'm going to sway with you. Right Come behind you, Officer Laverne. You're going to go to the end of the second row right here for me. This way, Kevin. Uh, into the second row, and then we're going to go up. We're going to see that nurse in blue right there. They're going to get some vitals from you. That guy's being charged with a battery of domestic violence on his girlfriend. He claims he's a professional dominatrix, and they were only playing rough. Dominatrix? It seems to be very popular. In fact, I think one was brought in earlier for solicitation. What's going on with that? Hi. Oh, I know who she is. Prostitution? Has it been a busy night for you tonight? No, I just walked out the door, too. I was mad. Well, I gotta get to my normal job. So which one was the normal job again? I'm a dominatrix. Did I know that about you? No. I don't think so. I don't think you told me that. I just spank men for a living. You spank men? You just like to say that, huh? How much did you charge for a spanking? Spanking's 150. 150? What does that include exactly? Basically? Spanking. 
I tell them you use a paddle? A paddle, either paddle whips. I get, ooh, I got one six foot bull whip. <laughs> How long have you been doing that for? Ten years. Ten years? What happened tonight? Tonight I was, I was over on State and Karen, and an undercover came and got me in the car. <laughs> And, well, I, for some reason, I knew he was. Your intuition. I know. And I knew he was. And, but see, it doesn't matter. As long as you get in the car, you, get, you can go to jail. Mm. It doesn't matter. So you knew you were done? Yeah. OK. But just at the beginning of your shift, too? Yeah. But it's all right. Cause it's part of the job. Yeah, 48 hours, I go home. Don't I? You know it, it well. Oh, yeah. Because I have a three-year-old. You have a three-year-old. It's yeah. all about him, right? Yeah, that's the reason I'm doing, you know, what I have to do. I have to, you know, take care of him. You know, and I'm not judging. A lot of people feel differently about how they can get out of things, so I'm not judging you. All right, dear. All right. All right, Kevin, come on in over here for me. All right, Kevin, go ahead and have a seat for me. All right. I'm going to give you a copy of your paperwork. Those are all your charges. You've got the battery DV strangulation. Um, you got what? Battery DV strangulation. That's pretty bad. It's a felony. Huh? New law in Nevada that they passed is any time that the hands went anywhere near the throat area, it's called strangulation. It automatically takes DV up to a felony. <laughs> that was not an aggressive thing. That was a... That's what gets worked out in court, though, you know? All right, so let's walk over this way. Have a seat over there in the third row. If you need anything, just raise your hand and ask these officers first. Yeah, may I use the phone? After you sit down, raise your hand and ask these officers. All right, okay. cool. All right, good luck to you. So where do I have to sit? There, go to the third row. There's a seat third over row right there. there. Listen for your name. I wish you the best of luck. I did not do anything. All right. Sergeant, can I talk to you? No. Hang on. Not until you get back there, okay. then we'll talk. Why are you going to talk to me? The like, nurse can talk. You yeah, can't. No, no, no. That's wrong. It's not you wrong. It's the rules. And talk to me, where are you at right now? Where are you at? You tell me. Where are you at? Not your house. You're at jail. I know. Your expectations are way too high. That's wrong. That's wrong. I didn't do anything. Didn't you know that? Sorry. No. Mm -hmm. I still I don't know. Are we leaving them on or taking them off? I'm not taking them off. I'm taking them off. Take them off. Take them off. Yeah. Come over here. Seems like uh, she got irritated that the nurse was talking, so she started yelling with the nurse. Apparently, she doesn't understand that. When it says no talking out there, we, we mean the inmates. It's not right. It's not right at all. I mean, that Turn is... around. Well, she didn't agree with something between another inmate and the nurse, so she kept talking, and then she started screaming at him and getting pissed off. I told her to quiet down, to calm down, to be quiet, and she just wouldn't listen. She was just that riled up. So finally, I just said, OK, let's just go to the side cell. So. OK, that's fine. Uh, she kept interjecting in our conversations, too. Oh, yeah, the whole night. See, she has a problem with not knowing when to stop talking. Yeah. Like right now. Actually, Good deal. Well, stay no, then. I, I, I just don't think it's right because I had a problem with that last nurse the last time I was here. Well, try not to come in here anymore so you don't have to see that guy with medical and then you won't have any more problems. 118 times, okay? All right, we'll try not to make it 119. All right. Just makes my room quieter now. two types of tools we use for people that come in combative or disruptive. We use uh, our side cell uh, to isolate them from other inmates and officers. We also use our restraint chair for people that are combative, that want to fight to keep them safe and also the officers or inmates in the jail safe. We have an inmate out in uh, Sally Port that the officer called and needs assistance. He wants to act all crazy and he wants to fight. He wants to challenge me and all that good stuff. First time in here? No. Are you seriously making threats that you're going to hurt officers? Uh, that fool, yeah. So you're actually threatening him? I wasn't threatening him. I was just saying, dude, don't talk unless you're going to do something. If you come in threatening officers? I didn't threaten him. I was just saying, That's he, he started. Him. No, I know. He started talking and then I started saying, no, don't say that to me, and I called him the N word, the word, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So I was brought up. So that makes it okay? Yeah. You go in here, you're talking about hardened criminals, been in and out of prison, 
And just you saying that, it's going to get your butt kicked. I'm being honest yeah, with you. Yeah, my dad's been in prison for 14 years. Your dad's out here. That's how I got grew up. Yeah. yeah. I think you can follow the directions in here. Walk this way. All the way down there. Go see the nurse. Him and his girlfriend got into a verbal altercation because he was um, texting other guys through his book, sending uh, naked photos of herself to other guys. So he gets upset. He confronts her about it. She tries to leave. She leaves in her car. He throws a rock at the car and busts the window. Oh, wow. Once we got to jail, he just started getting agitated. You know, F this, F that. Right. You know, so at that point, I knew I had, had an issue. Sure, sure. You know what? And it's late. I didn't want to deal with it. So I called you guys. Get up. Get up. I just told you not to threaten people, didn't I? I didn't threaten anybody. I asked him what he was looking at. This individual uh, was given an opportunity to go through the process, go through the system. Instead, he decided to sit there and uh, make a threat towards an officer that walked by him. We placed him in handcuffs, and now we're going to a side cell. Hey. See you in a couple of you on the bench? Now, if you start making threats and kicking the door or doing anything like that, I'm going to come back in here and we're going to place you in a restraint chair. Now, do not move until the door is closed, all right? Just relax. Just relax. He wouldn't stop blowing his mouth. Right. I was walking by, checking on him, looking at his tattoos. He asked me what, what I was looking at in other terms. So that's when I grabbed him, threw him into the other room. He's just not going to make it. What happened out there? Uh, well, I was trying to straighten up my daughter and son-in-law. My, well, future son-in-law. Uh, yeah. How were you trying to straighten them out? Uh, just by scaring them a little bit. I, I was trying to get them to work. Okay. <laughs> That's scary to them? Well, I guess it's scary to him. But... So you don't know what you got arrested for? Uh, cause she called him. Oh, right. she called the police. Yeah. What'd she tell the police? I don't know. I wasn't there. I sent to North Carolina for, cause I didn't want her to leave. Where was she trying to go? No, I don't know. Way. So you want your dog to stay with you forever? Yeah. Go see the nurse. Right right so I gotta walk through all these people. Move your feet. Move your feet. No, no. Hey. Ow. hey. You hurt your own foot. Yeah, I know. Stop kicking people, okay? Basically, Alan was drinking a lot. He had punched the daughter's boyfriend while he was sitting on the toilet. Oh, wow. Got mad because they were living at his house for free or something like that. Um, actually chased the daughter out of the house with a knife. Chased her outside the house while with the knife. Uh, slashed her tire, got upset, threw the knife in the middle of the street, then got in his truck, and then chased down the family dog, hitting a center block wall, and then barricading himself in the house. Thanks. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Do you drink every day? Yes, ma'am. Alcohol is good for you. It's legal. <laughs> stand up for me. Last time it was 145. I can control my blood pressure. You can control your blood pressure? Yes, ma'am. All I'm going to do is be real calm. Don't touch me no more. Okay. Just breathe. Relax. Okay. Your blood pressure is really good. If, if you would have taken a couple minutes here when I was talking fast, yeah. it would have been higher. You're all set. All right, can I go? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You're going to make yourself dizzy. Have a seat. All right, Al, come on. Have a seat right here. OK. Great. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> um, let me see here. Right now, you got your uh, battery, domestic. Yeah. All right. And then injury or, uh, to property of another. It's mine. Well, it's I think it. I think what they're doing is the the actual wall that you ran into with the car. It's mine too. Okay. So you uh, good? All right. Come on, stand like up. Call Bill Bosman. Yes. You can. All right. Okay. Come on, stand up here. All right. Okay. Good. If you need anything, just raise your hand. Okay. Go to the bathroom. Use the phone. All right. Mm -hmm. What's up your name? OK, and then, and then we'll go from there, all right? Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, sir. All right. Thank you. What's up? Yeah? So what were we drinking last night? Just beer. Just beer? All right. Um, so you're 18? Listen, if you're going to keep coming here, but you got to start getting along. You know, I mean, that, that's what you want to do is keep coming to jail, which I hope it's not. But if it is, you got to get along with people, OK? Regardless of who they are and where they come from, you just got to get along. So you be cool, relax, and then we'll get you out of here, OK? All right, well, good luck. Yeah, 
he just, um, I think he get through the process. Uh, basically, he was just drunk last night. It looks like he's sobered up now and understands that we're not going to be, uh, you know, messing around and, and playing around. So it um, looks like he's going to pay attention to directions. working here at Clark County Detention Center for two years now. My career before was as a dental lab technician, and you know, I was just ready for a change in my life, and this really seemed to be something that fit me quite well. It's exciting, it's nonstop, um, which is what I really like to do. I don't like to sit idle, so this seems to be the place that I think I really want to stay. Can you tell me what happened tonight? Yeah, I burned some blankets. They owed me some money, and they weren't paying me back, so I burned their things. Who are they? Homeless. Just I homeless people? Yeah. Just friends out on the street of yours? Uh-huh. So did they, they owed you some money? Yeah. What did they owe you money for? I let them stay with me six months, and they owed me $10, and they wouldn't give it to me, so I burned their blankets. I said, your blankets are on fire, and they said they didn't care, and they all went up, and, and then they called the police. So now you're being charged with arson? Yeah, arson. Come on over here. Right. You're going to go down this row right here. I want you to go all the way down to the end, have a seat, and wait for medical to call you, OK? Yes, on the other side of that girl right there, OK? After you see medical. What brought you to her tonight? What happened? Um, Cindy um, is homeless, I believe. And she frequents a homeless camp. Um, she was angry because apparently um, Two of them said that they would help her, and they didn't. So she set their blankets on fire. But unfortunately, it displaced about 10 people. So um, a lot of those people, that's all they have there. They want to hurt her bad, of course. Of you know? course. So um, this is the best place for her right now. OK. She does regret her behavior, so. OK, thank okay, you. have a good night. You got into a car accident. Yeah, Separate your feet. Dumb. What do you mean you got into a car accident for what? Doing my, what? Because my dude wanted me to hurry up and get home, and I oh, yeah. was racing to get home. So. so what did you get arrested for? For um, I mean, I know you got in a car accident. Were you drinking or no? They, the dude said I was. What are they charging you with? I don't freaking know. Being a dumbass, probably. Well, yeah. it's not legally a crime, but. Unfortunately, it just... In your case, maybe today. Yeah. So you were just going fast. Did anybody get hurt in the accident? No. Nope. That was that girl next to me. Oh, she was in the car with you? No, she was in the other car. She was in the other car? Yeah. Listen, you're going to go ahead and go down to the end, sit in that last seat. Ma'am, come here. Come up here. That's OK. Come on up here. Stand here. Face this wall. What's, go to what's going on tonight with you and her? You Do you know her? No. OK, so you were in another car. She crashed into you. She crashed into yeah. you, and why are you arrested? Because I had a warrant. Oh, you had a warrant? Yeah. So you got hit, and then you got brought to jail? Mm hmm What do you have warrants for? My traffic ticket. So you have traffic warrants. She run a red light, or <laughs> she ran a red light? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're going to go down this row all the way down to the end, all right? She was the cause of the accident. It looks like she's a DUI, so we're going to do a blood draw on her. Tell me your name again. Marcella. Marcella. That's all right. We just need one. I hate needles and... I no worries. Trust me. Don't move. Don't move. And your boyfriend car. actually called and said you didn't have permission to have the car. He did not? Yeah, he did. That's what he called and told me. I wonder if he's trying to do that for the insurance, like, because... But he called to let me know that you didn't have permission to have it, and he's going to report it stolen. Then I'm going to get in trouble, too, for that? I told him that's his prerogative. Here. How long is A month. A month, maybe a month. Oh. Well, if that. So he doesn't really have professional loyalty to you, then, does he? Obviously not. All right, well, let's go out here. You're going to have a seat out here, all right? Go back in the, the last row. plot thickens because the three witnesses said that she blows the light, hits them, then the driver of the car she hits gets out and runs away. And the girl that's down here with her on the warrants, right. 
she jumped in the driver's seat. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> All right, thank you. Today at the scene of the accident, there was some witnesses who stated that there was another driver with you in the car, that they actually jumped out of the driver's seat and ran away. Yeah, and it, was a, it was a bad day. I don't know, we took off. Now, you've never been to jail. This is your first time other than your traffic ticket? No. Okay, well, it's not gonna be a horrible experience for you other than you're just gonna have to take care of your warrant. Sit tight, go through the process, and, and uh, and you'll be out by tomorrow sometime, OK? Why don't you go ahead and have a seat back where you were, OK? We'll talk to you in a few minutes. The whole idea that whoever she was with ran away, she kind of ended up with the short end of the stick. At least nobody got hurt, nobody got killed, so we can call it a good day. It says here that you don't have a driver's license. You don't have a driver's license? Never had one. You've never had a driver's license? And you just go out driving around without it? Is this the first time you've been caught? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever been pulled over or got an accident or anything. Wow. I drive every day. How come you didn't get a driver's license? I just never thought it was that important. What's going on? Because I like to get in trouble, obviously. I don't obey the law, and I don't like police, and I give a I do what I want to do. You're being charged with DUI accident and driving without a valid license. We're going to go out here, have a seat, front row, point for your name to be called, OK? Well, we got Marcella here, who just went through the process and seems completely unscathed by the whole entire situation. It's just an inconvenience as far as she's concerned. Marcella's going to be here for a while. She may be coming back for quite a stay. It's not going to be the end of the story, I'm sure. Doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be.